Hello, this is the Eldest Odyssey 524 4 birth Touring Caravan. Um, I'm making this video so that I can show you everything about the caravan. Um, it has a motor mover fitted. I'll show you how to operate and use that. Um, I'll show you the condition of the bodywork. Then we'll have a look inside. Um, now it has the Winterhof stabilising hitch, the anti-snake hitch and also a Saracen uh, security hitch lock. Um, it is a bit fiddly to, to fit on, but it, it does work. Under this front cover, there's two gas bottles and regulator. These bottles do have a bit of gas left in them. Um, and in that corner there, you've got the toilet fluids, the blues and the pink fluids spare wheel water pump there and in this box here you've got the the locking nut for the caravan wheels and a few spare studs that normally goes in that bag there along with the part of the Saracen hitch it has a Lambi level on it this is a Lambi level and all this is basically is it's just like a, a spirit level there's one on the front and one on the other side to get the caravan level Coming with two 40 litre aqua roll water butts, and one of them has a carrying bag, and also the, the handle for rolling the water butts to the water point. Uh, this is another whale pump, this is what I'm using at the moment, and it just slots into there. And also, here there's a water filter. The side of this is your Truma vent for the hot water system inside. I'll show you all about that when we get in there. Down this side is fairly level, uh, the caravan could do with a polish, um, there's just one or two little dings in it which I'll point out, there's a, there's a few little ones here, I don't know if these are going to show up in this light, little one there, one there, one there, um, it's on alloy wheels and good tyres. And there's the motor mover which I'll explain all about after. So pretty good down this side. Good across the back. also coming with the, the wastewater container with fittings and these are just a simple slot to fit in disassemble it pull that out of there and these just pull off the back like this so so that that hole and that hole one goes in there and one goes in there like this you slot in and slot this back on and that's your wastewater system plus the, the wastewater container as a carrying bag as well. We've got the caravan step and down this side isn't too bad there's one or two dings in it but nothing major. There's uh, a couple up here, one there and there, a bit of one here and these are damage caused by awning poles. Little one down there One here, one there, much of nothing. It's the stable door, which I'll show you shortly. There's a ding here. A little bit here. One or two little ones up here. You can barely see them, but I want to point them out because I want you to know everything about this caravan. So down here we have, um, this is a barbecue point, so if you're having uh, a barbecue outside, lift this cover and there's a connector for an outside barbecue. 
this cover here is the awning warmer and what happens is when you've got the heating on inside the van and if you had for example an awning on this van it would blow nice warm air out of that vent there next door to that is the uh, locker for the leisure battery with a leisure battery in there and the electric hookup for the 240 volt another locker next door in here we've got um, storage space so this is this is under the settee in the van uh, an external socket there that works for uh, if, you want, if you want to run power outside of the van there's the remote for the motor mover and the key to turn the isolator on but I'll explain about those after alloy wheel on this side and a good tyre this is another Lambie level that we're talking about just so you can level up the caravan if you're that particular and back here this is the filler for the toilet inside and what you do with this you put your pink fluid in here then fill it with water and that's for your flush for your toilet below that one is the locker for the Thetford cassette for the toilet and what you do with this um, this cassette slides out and this is taking away the waste from, from your toilet inside and to get this out you lift this yellow lever up pull this cassette out, now this cassette comes all the way out um, you take it to an appropriate drain then you open this here screw that off uh, tip it into an appropriate drain, put a bit of water in it, put the cap back on give it a swill, tip it out then put the blue fluid in here that breaks down waste and then put a couple of litres of water in it and then that's all set to go there's two sets of keys with the caravan or there was something else, at the back here these uh, these corner steadies uh, wind down and, th and this levels your van, th this stabilises your van but it's got an extra stability bar fitted across uh, for extra stability for want of a better word so that's the outside of the van I'll just talk to you about lengths and weights oh this caravan <coughs> So the caravan is seven foot wide and from the bottom to the peak of the TVA at the top it's eight and a half feet. It's 20 foot long in the body and from the back to the front of the towing hitch it's 23 feet and three inch. Um, unladen it's 1,200 and 38 kilograms and laid and it grosses out at 1450 so that's the outside of the caravan and what I'll do next I'll show you how to use this motor mover so first of all make sure you've got your handbrake on handbrake's on and this tool here this is for engaging the motor mover but it also doubles up as, as your leg winder and all you do with this um, I'll try and put this camera down so you can see you put this, this tool on the end of there oh, I'll do one hand so that goes on there and then you turn it 90 degrees and what it does it pushes these mortars the, these wheels against the tyre so I'll it, run it through 90 degrees so that's now engaged against the tyre at both sides and you can operate you, you can move the actuators onto it from this side or the other side because it's exactly the same 
So that's the actuators against the tyre. And then we'll come back around this side and access this locker. And this is your isolator key. And there's your isolator switch. And so this key goes in here. Turn it to the right. And what that'll do, it'll turn a box on under there and there should be a green light on top of the box. When the green light comes on, you know that that is, is turned on. And I'm just trying to see it because it's very dark in here. Yeah, there's the green light. <laughs> so then you get the remote. Now with this caravan there's an instruction an instruction manual that comes with this remote um, which is easy enough to follow but I'll just show you the basics because you can do quite a few things with it. So to turn it on you press that switch and that switch and across here it's switching on. Them lights are going off. Now you've just got one green light on there. Handbrake off. And then to move it back and forwards with your simple controls. I better just disconnect that wheel pump. We don't want to be dragging that down the street. So here we go. Moving backwards, move it forwards, it's on a bit of uneven ground here, makes it awkward. I'll just make sure them wheels, them uh, actuators are engaged properly. This is where it starts to make a fool of you. forwards um, and then you can slew it to left and right well, it's, it's making a fool of me today is this it does work it's all working um, it's just a bit awkward getting things correct with one hand about some forwards and it'll also slow the right range of the, the like you see it's slowing there look and slowing again that's the motor mover it's, it's caught down there on that wheel so it doesn't really want to I'm looking just caught on corner up flag uh, yeah it works okay so that's the motor mover and to turn this off just press the two buttons and the light will go out on the remote which it has done then come back round here turn the isolator off like that I'll put them inside out of way in a minute and then disengage the motor movers off the wheel because if you don't disengage them and you tow it it'll shred your tyres and Destroy, destroy the mortars. There we go, that's now off. Then we've moved back away from the wheel. So that's all set up, that's ready, that's to go. Um, so that's the outside and the motor mover. And what I'll do next, we'll go inside and I'll show you how to use the heating systems and one thing and another. Um, and show you what it's all about. We'll take a look inside the caravan, but first I want to show you this. This caravan's a 2005. Now this here is the CRIS number, 
and it's also the chassis number and if you count the tenth digit in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you come to a five and it's that five that tells you that it's um, a 2005 caravan so we said this is a stable door or oh, light, light above the outside light works stable door and you can have this top part open and the bottom part closed and by all you need to do to do that is push that lever that way let that catch into the catch and close the bottom door like this you get plenty of air in when it's hot and also this caravan um, has a uh, has a full size screen across this door a full size fly net it just slides out like this clips onto the back of there and if you want to have the doors open in summer this prevents flies getting in and every window has a fly net uh, and they all work they also have the blackout blinds there's a blackout blind on this door which I'll show you clipped into the bottom there um, your blackout blinds every windows all the blackout blinds are okay apart from this one um, and what it's done it has a little tear in it there so I've taped it over but it works functionally and I've got the blackout blinds on and all you do is just clip them off independent of each other and then you can open the windows and all the window stays on all the windows are good this just comes back up and clips back onto the blackout blind like this and to move the blackout lines up and down you push those in push them in to move it down off in any fixed position or completely down like this at the back of the van as you're coming through the door you've got the bathroom is the main light switch in the bathroom this will turn that light off but you can also turn this light on and off by its own switch as you can with all the other the other lights in the, in the caravan this has a light above and that's a light switch for this um, lovely cylindrical shower a good shower base door across perspex door very nice, very modern, very clean. Mixer taps, hot water, cold water, and the hot water in this caravan gets very, very hot. So be careful. Make sure you've run it first, and uh, you get the temperature correct for yourself. There's a dustbin here. Uh, drawers below drawers and the wardrobe wardrobe door there's a light in here main fuse box that's the that's a 240 volt fuse box in this wardrobe you've got some shelvings to the side here light above close rail covers across the bottom here underneath this rear window couple of shelves this one has a laundry basket in it like this same again another cupboard blackout blinds and fly nets to this window also it has this curtain and if you want to have this down just just simply get the, get the string off there and drop it down like that shelves above to the right of this window we've got the, sink, the vanity unit we've got a sink here with mirrors And this light, unfortunately, doesn't work. I've changed the bulb in it, 
and I've looked at the wiring and I can't get it to work. Uh, mixer taps again, pop tap, run a bit of air out, pull, and a plug. More, little, more wreck of shelves, shelving across here. Towel holder, toilet roll holder, Thetford cassette swivel toilet. So this base swivels like this. And to use this toilet, you have a little gate across here. So when you're using the toilet, move this handle forward and it opens that gate. Do your business, close the handle back up, shuts that gate and it swills, it flushes with this handle, a pump handle. And I've just filled this, remember that was the pink fluid from outside. And a little tip, when you've used the toilet, and you've closed this gate back up, just run a little bit of water into it because what it does, there's a rubber seal in here and it just keeps the seal from going brittle and loosening its seal basically. So that's the bathroom. Come into the van. To this side here is, is the dinette and this area makes up into double beds uh, with a curtain round on the rail. I'll set that up after and show you that. Cupboards above. All dry in there. Toaster. You're getting lots of things this van. Toaster's coming with it, kettle's coming with it, uh, pans, frying pans, knives, forks, a few cups and plates. There's the kettle. And that's the status control for the, the power pack for the uh, aerial signal booster. 12 volt spotlights underneath. 12 volt lights down the van. 12 volt light above the sink and two 12 volt spotlights. You switch on like this. Um, they've all got their own switch. But here is the main control for the lights. So you can turn the lights off with them two top ones. And this one to the left is for the outside light. Now them two lights at the front have stayed on because them's 240 volt. Come to the cooker with a glass lid and it's electronic igniter so this is where I'm going to put this camera down make sure you can see everything the electronic igniter is there I'll just show you that these rings work that one's on That one's on. Four gas rings all working. That one's gone off actually, isn't it? There you go. All the gas rings work. Below the hob, you've got the grill. Oh, and this works, got a grill pan in it, same with grill, I'm going to put that down again, gas on there, press the igniter, so there's the grill lit, oven, All working there, and below the oven, you've got a little clip to door. And in the rear, there's um, a few pans and frying pans all coming with it. All you have to do with this van, every accessory is with it, you just have to hook up and go. Next to the cooker, we've got the fridge. Slide it to the left to unlock it, and inside, you have a little freezer box, uh, a couple of shelves there. A nice little box in the door with a shelf and a place for eggs and this this uh, fridge works brilliantly on the 230 
it can be temperamental to light on the gas and I've never tried it on the 12 volt it's a simple control it's just a, a rotary control 230 12 volt and then gas and this one at this side um, is the fridge temperature and the igniter for the gas should you want to light it on the gas above the fridge is the sink another glass top the plug nice modern sink same again mixer taps top coal like I say this gets this water gets very hot I can't keep my finger on that any longer. Um, like I say, they've all got mixer taps. So where were we? Fridge. So above the, the fridge, the fire and the cooker, there's some cupboards. Now this cupboard is big enough to take a microwave. Like this. And also in here, you've got a plug socket. And all the plug sockets in this van work. Cupboards above the sink, plates, cups, dishes, the spare one here, another cupboard, a couple of shelves above, tea and coffee and that's another 240 volt plug that works. Blackout blind fly net with a light, a light above. And that brings us to, there's a work surface here, and that brings us to a couple of drawers below. Got knives and forks and things in there. Spare cupboard. Now I've got this fire, this gas fire lit on the gas, but there's two ways you can get hot air into this van. One is by the gas fire, which is on now, um, and it's an electronic igniter. And all you do with the gas fire is this will be turned to the zero. So all you do is press it down, turn it, and it'll, you'll hear it going click, 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 and then you'll, you'll hear it go poof, poof, and it's lit in the pilot light in there, and I'll see if we can see it. Get the angle right. Yep, there it is. That's the fire lit on the gas. And this other control to the side of it, if I turn that into the centre position, you'll hear a fan go off. Now, behind this fire, there's a fan and electric elements. So, to turn that fan on, you can either have it on turn on permanent or on auto. If you have it on auto, it switches on and off, on and off, when the temperature lowers and raises in the caravan. Um, so, I just leave it on permanent like that. And this top switch controls the speed of that fan. So what that fan is doing is blowing hot air out the top here. It's blowing hot air out of that vent and that vent and also that one in the bathroom there. So it's like central heating basically and it's very very effective. And like I said there's two ways to get the hot, water, the, the hot air into this fan. So if I turn this fire off That's now turned off on the gas. And if you come to this control over here, which is at the side of this dinette up here, you have this control. This is the Truma Ultra Heat. And you can set it at 2000 watts, 500 watts, or 1000 watts. Easy enough to do. All you do is just click this switch up into the 2000, 500, or 1000. So if we click it up, into the 2000 at maximum strength, maximum temperature that has now lit that element in the back of that fire that electric element, so it's effectively made it an electric fire and then just do the same again click this to the left and have it on permanent and that is now giving you hot air on the 240 volt hookup 
I hope that makes sense. So two ways to get hot air. There's also two ways to get hot water into this van. Now at the minute I've got it, I've got the hot water turned on on the gas and it's just this simple control here. So you see the flame and you see the circle and you do the same with this, you click it left and right. So if I click it up, what this has done now, it's turned the water heater off on the gas. To turn it back on, click it down like that. The, re the green light will stay on. If for any reason it clicks off and goes on to red, it probably means that your gas bottle is empty. So I'm going to turn that off. That's heating the water on the gas. I've now turned that off and if you want to heat the water on the 240 volt hookup, you just come down to this switch here, opposite the fire, there's this switch here, and you just simply turn that switch on and that is now heating up the water on the 240 volt hookup. In this cupboard here, there's the freestanding table, it slides out, so these, these legs come down to make this, this a table and you can have the table stood there or outside or wherever you fancy really if you've got an awning it's great in the awning freestanding table and that lives in there and then just click that down so that it doesn't try to slide out while you're moving also underneath these controls this van has an alarm as well but I don't know how to use it although there is a manual in there for it somewhere as I recall uh, below that, this is your main power switch for your, for your electric systems, which is turned on. Next to it is, you recall the blue whale water pump outside it in the water container. That's just simply on and off. It has to be on so that the taps work. Below that is a, an aerial jack and a plug socket for a 12 volt TV. And next door to that is a 240 volt socket. Spotlights underneath, as there is here, 240 volt lights, on and off switch, same here, 12 volt spotlights under there, and these, these are adjustable, you know, you can, you can point them in various directions, watch your fingers, they do get up, speak for the radio, uh, blackout blinds and fly nets to the front and to the sides and they all work. Here you have uh, a unit for uh, like a wine rack and wine glasses and things like this. Another cupboard at the side. Three across the front. And in this middle one you have the radio. Uh, CD radio, Sony CD radio, and I've got it on a non-music channel so that I don't bring any, break any infringements. Incidentally, it's called a cakewalk because it was the traditional dance named the since radio the couple did the best dance won a cake. And it's a clip-off front and a box to put the radio front in. Another cupboard to this side. And two more over this settee. And there's two shelves here, which is above this control here. Uh, and in there, I've got the curtain tucked in there because this curtain comes down and goes around this rail to make these two sleeping areas private. Um, loads and loads of manuals. Uh, this is about the remote for the motor mover. You've got the National Caravan Council certificate, uh, instruction manual for the winter half, more information on the um, motor mover, uh, built in hob, the filter crystal outside that I showed you. That's for the Saracen lock on the hookup control uh, book there for the uh, radio cassette. 
uh, fridge built in appliance, the Truma Ultra Heat, Ultra Straw Rapid. This is, back, this is for your status area on a caravan roof, and these are the instructions for the fire. More information on the Winterhof hookup. Instructions for the fridge, the Truma vents, the Thetford cassette toilet, and this is about the stabilising bar that I spoke to you across the back end. The original handbook, and then a cover to put everything in. And in here, this is a, this is, this is a table. This slides out like this. So you've got another table in the front and to fasten that back it's got a bolt at either side just flip the bolt up and that bolt up and that, that will stay firmly in place there's a remote for the motor mover and the switch for the isolator I'll put all these back in this folder and I'll put them in this drawer so they're all together another drawer below then under these two settees, you've got more storage. There's the controls for the motor mover. And the green light are on about is on top here. Space under there. Another 230 volt plug there, 240 volt plug. More cover space underneath. Extra TV and aerial jacks, and that is also another control for the Truma heat. Just have everything up at the top, and everything stays nice and hot. More cover space under there, and the water heaters under there as well. The floor in the caravan is solid. Um, it's a good solid floor. There's no water leaks into this caravan. Um, there's no musty mouldy smells or anything like that, it's all good. So I think I've just about covered everything in here. So what I'm going to do next, I'll make this bed up into the, these, these two settees up into the full bed. You can either sleep on that settee or that settee or uh, by pulling that handle there it pulls across a rack and then you just rearrange your uh, cushions. Same in under here. This slides out to make a base for, the, for, the, for these bunks. This table just clips out. There's two clips under here. You just clip, slip them clips back and this table lifts off. Just store it on the floor. So I'll make up the front beds, I'll make up the bunk beds and I'll show you what that's all about. So that's the little bed set up in the front. It's quite a nice size bed, so you sleep uh, this way across it. You can also take those cupboards out if you like, because there's just a screw, two screws on either side, and that will lift out, and you can make that area uh, into a bigger bed space. But this is quite big enough. Um, I did forget to show you this shelf here, and also the Hakey, the Hakey skylight. Line it and blind across. They separate, and then you undo that one like that. Say about this side. And this whole window pushes up like this, so you can have it as a massive skylight. Or you can pull it down and rest it on there on the just have it venting um, and also back here under this cover you have an electric roof fan so you can it, it'll spin one way or the other depending on whether you want to suck air out or blow air in by this switch here and it's also got three speeds so on speed one speed two forgot all about that and also in the back there's another skylight in here same again it's similar to the front one except it's just a little bit smaller and you can have that either in there like that 
to have it open slightly or open like that. Um, I've made up the bunks. <coughs> So these are the bunk beds, bed at the bottom, bed at the top, and this curtain, as I said, just put it off this shelf, like this, pull the curtain across, back to there and that makes these two sleeping areas private from each other like this so that's that's about it I've now shown you everything um, just to reiterate uh, coming with this van is the two fresh water 4 litre water butts water pump uh, with a spare pump, wastewater container, hookup lead, leg winder, which also doubles up as the tool for the um, motor mover with, with the remote. And I put the remote and everything, and all the leaflets, all the instruction manuals is back in that drawer, and the isolator key. Uh, we've got a caravan step, you've got the Towing hitch, Saracen security lock, which is temperamental. Um, you've got pots, pans, cups, dishes, plates, frying pans, you name it, it's all there. Uh, and that is about it then, I think I've just about covered everything. Uh, and what, what I can do, um, I can deliver this caravan to you if, you if you like, and I can deliver it at £1 a mile postcode to postcode one way and I live in the OL14 area postcode in a place called Walsden which is near Todd, Todd Morden in West Yorkshire um, right that's about it then so thanks for watching and bye for now